Good morning, Manna. Yesterday we touched on the biblical foundation for small groups. Today I'd like to flesh out a bit more about the early church and how purposeful small groups were in the growth of the Christian faith. When we look at the early church, we get a picture of small communities of people, small groups, who followed Jesus together. The book of Acts, especially Acts 2, gives us a great picture of the early church and what biblical community looks like. A community of both uh, temple courts and house to house. Believers engaged in life together through teaching, fellowship, communion, and prayer. They saw miracles and demonstrated sincere generosity. There was even corporate worship there. They spent time together eating, learning, celebrating, proclaiming the good news, and supporting each other. Did you know that there are nearly 60 one another verses in the New Testament that walk out other aspects of small groups community? For example, it was a place where people loved and forgave, they served and bore each other's burdens. We see them encouraged, exhorted, and equipped. They spoke truth in love, confessed sins, and treated each other as valued members of one body. God never intended for us to live the Christian life alone. At Manna, we believe that the Bible is the handbook for life. In fact, it's the very first of our 12 operational principles. So we believe all the important concerns and issues of human life are addressed in the Bible. With that in mind, how can we then apply these one another references unless we're in close, intentional relationships with each other? God calls us to love, not in a cordial head nod in passing or in an elevator encounter, how you doing today, but in a deep face-to-face, life-on-life, transformative way. Small groups could be viewed merely as a program or a ministry within the church, but for the New Testament church and for Mana Church, it's a way of life. It's a common thread through every area of their lives, through our lives. Their relationships with one another were crucial to the pursuit of Jesus, their growth in Christ, and their witness to the good news of the gospel. It's impossible to experience biblical community apart from spiritually significant, intentional relationships with other believers. Small groups are an integral part of being the church and not just doing church. Which brings us to a very opportune time to address being the church and a return to Manna's operational principles. Our sixth is that the church is a people, not a building. God has and will always be concerned with our spiritual health and maturity, our being more like Christ every day. There's no more influential environment to deal with inner motivation and drive, our perspective and passions, convictions and core values than that of being plugged into a life-giving small group. Join a man of small group today. No, really, click the link in the description. Go ahead, see you tomorrow.